Now that we have our coil project completed, it is time to add the color. We're going to first go in our sketchbook and redraw our contour line of our clay project. The contour line is the outside edge and most important lines within. Once we have our design redrawn, we're going to add color. This is our pre-plan, planning what we will be doing ahead of time. Once our pre-plan is completed, we're going to move on to oil pastel on our clay project itself. I'm looking at my pre-plan, deciding what colors I'm going to use, and I'm going to bring the oil pastels directly onto my clay piece. As you can see, I'm adding the oil pastel back and forth and back and forth on top of my clay piece. I need a nice thick layer of oil pastel for the next step of this project. I'm also going to be blending colors, so I'm putting colors that might go together well next to each other. You're seeing that there are some white spots still left behind. That's the cracks and crevices from the coils that we put together for this project. You're going to have some of these areas still remaining white. Adding as much of the oil pastel is exactly what we want to do. I also want to point out that I have a paper towel underneath my project. This is important. We want to make sure that we don't rub all of these little flakes off onto our table or the floor. That becomes difficult to clean up. So try to keep everything on your paper towel. That'll be easier at the end of class to clean up. Here's a closer view so far. You can see that there's white inside the crevices of our clay piece. That's all right, we want that on there. Now the next step is to take and smear that oil pastel with your finger, trying to blend the colors. That's another reason we needed a lot of oil pastel. Here's the last reason that we need a lot of oil pastel. We're going to be putting in a mixture of acrylic paint and water right over the top of our piece. It looks like the color is disappearing. Our next step is actually going to reveal the color again, but at this point we want to make sure that that paint goes inside all of those cracks and crevices in between each of our coils. We really want to make sure that it's filled up with this paint and water mixture. Then we're going to bring it over to some water. If you're using a sink, make sure that you keep your water at a whisper, which means don't turn it on too high. Um, that way it will not splatter all over the place. You'll need to use your fingers to wipe away any excess paint. Where the cracks and crevices were, that is where the black paint is going to remain. Then we'll set it aside to dry.